A Cleburne teenager has really set Facebook on fire after posting pictures of her African hunting safari. Critics are bashing her for taking part in conservation hunts and glorifying the kills by posting pictures online. Supporters are coming to her defense saying there is nothing wrong with what she's doing. Fox Wars Richard Ray joining us now from Dallas. And I know, Rich, that you had the chance to talk to people on both sides of this argument. What can you tell us? We did, Heather, but we couldn't talk to Kendall Jones. She's still in Africa, still on safari. On Facebook, she bills herself as student, cheerleader, and huntress from the great state of Texas. But others know her on the Internet as the Texas cheerleader famous for killing animals in Africa. This is what ignited the Internet firestorm. Video and pictures posted to Kendall Jones' Facebook page. The Texas Tech sophomore from Cleburne now on safari in Africa posing with big game she shot. A petition demanding she take the pictures down has garnered tens of thousands of signatures. A lot of angry comments. Jones told her hometown newspaper she's been victimized by online bullying and had several death threats. Jones posted a video of villagers being given an elephant to eat. She told the Cleveland Times Review the money paid to African governments for hunting permits is badly needed to help provide the bare necessities such as water and shelter. Anyone who's ever spent any time in Africa uh, is not likely to buy that any money given to the government finds its way down to the locals. Animal rights activist and lawyer Don Fear has been to Africa several times on photo safaris. He scoffs at conservation claims. In my opinion, she throws in a little tagging to make herself look better so she can call herself a conservationist. She's a hunter and she's trying to sell a hunting show. In fact, Jones says on Facebook that she's taping the hunts for a show on the Sportsman Channel to spread the knowledge of hunting and wildlife conservation. And hunting has a very positive impact on wildlife conservation and, and, and has for a long time. Ben Carter and the Dallas Safari Club weathered a similar storm on the Internet when it auctioned off a black rhino hunt last December. Like Jones, the winning bidder and his family were plagued with death threats and attacks on the Internet. Carter thinks hunters are increasingly being targeted by what he calls a fringe group of people who simply hate the idea of hunting. In my opinion, it's really cyber terrorism is what it is. Hunting's an American tradition that's been here for a long time, and I know we've lost some of our traditions in a number of areas. I sure hope we don't ever learn that, lose that tradition.